All right, so I just hit record. Yep. So we're going to have a game between Devin and Steve. Steve has not played this game except for once. Well, I'll put them on the screen here for you. And then <laughs> Devin again. And this time it is, uh, we wanted somebody who hasn't played before or hasn't played much so that we can go through all the real basic questions. So, so this game should have a lot of delays in it, but I apologize, but it's really a learning tool. All right, super simple. Talk to me. So Steve's using a uh, package, pre-packaged deck. It's the Yellowstone. Kind of Steve, it's just normal, like you know, card game habits. So. Yep. Yellowstone National Park, and then Devin is using what? Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave. Oh, pre-packaged as well. Yep. It's all just right. sleeved up. That's all. all right. So we can roll. So you go first. And uh, 15. Okay. 15. 10. 10. You got it. All right. I'll go first. So you draw five cards. What you're looking for in your hand, Steve, is any of these cards that say a region. Like forest, running water, so like that. If you have, as long as you have some of those, you're good. Okay. Um, I don't kind of have one. Well, you can always show me like any help. Like some are special regions, they might have more than one region printed on them. Some have zero point values, some have negative point values. Um, they unlock a bunch of stuff, so you can play a bunch of things and hopefully you recoup that negative value. Okay. All right. So as long as you have some of those, you're good. Okay. Okay. So how many is some? Huh? How many is some? I mean, if you have it, you're just you're stuck with it. You're, we're going. Okay. And uh, you um, typically with a pre-packaged deck, of course, you don't even know what the cards are in it. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time, you would want to go through and study them. Okay. Today's obviously not the day, but right. Well, well there's certain cards in here, like a lot of the humans get certain things out of your deck. Okay. It's important to know. Right. Right. But that's we'll help you. Okay. Um, like I've never played this one before. This one's brand new to me, so I'm just I just know the game. So I'm going first. Okay. You can play any number of regions you want in the turn. Okay. So you draw a card yet? Oh, nope. So I'm going to play two forest. Okay. And a standing water. Oh, wow. Okay. So every card has a requirement. You want okay. to, so like my flowering dog here needs one forest of grass. I have two forests, so it's perfectly fine. I get to play it. Okay. It's worth two points. Now, some cards will have notes on them that say you can do other things. Mm -hmm. So you always want to read and make sure they don't have notes. Okay. Um, then I get to play my woodsman. Humans have zero point value, but they all have a like static action mm -hmm. and something just happens normally and then a special action which means you can discard them and go do something typically, so for typically, typically typical, not all, not all of them yeah. I guess it's okay. true yeah. some like let you just draw extra cards and they stay static and go so when woodsman is played locate and play one species that requires a forest reach this is a standing action so I played them we will do that in a second mm -hmm. special action locate and play two species cards from your deck or discard pile that require a forest region discard woodsman if used this way so right now um, I played them. I'm going to locate one species that requires a forest region. Okay. Since I only have four standing water, I want something relatively simple. Okay. So Devin has two forest regions out, one standing water region out, one plant, and one human. And now he's going and searching for... I'm going to uh, get this morning dove. So morning. it requires one forest region, which meets the requirements in the woodland, and I have that. And then one understory plant. If you look right here at the very top, this is an understory plant. Okay. And it has... Everything broke down on it. Okay. Um, and it's just worth four points. And then at the end of my turn, cut me if you want. Uh, I have to discard. That's just when you're done. That's how you signify the end of your turn. You discard unless something says otherwise. Okay. So I'm gonna discard this uh, cave adapted crayfish that I don't have the cave from cabins to play. The special condition. Um, go ahead. So you start by drawing a card. Okay. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. And if you have any regions, you'll need a region before typically before you can play anything else. Now a human can be played without them, but okay. Some humans find regions or special regions. Right, right. and some multiplayer cards can be played without them too. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have a special region, mm -hmm. Yellowstone River Valley. And what's it say? Uh, requirements none. Uh, Yellowstone River Valley provides two running water regions and one grassland region. So you've got three regions off of one card, and you get only negative one point. That's pretty good. That is very good. Yeah. Well, I had to empty my whole hand just to play these three. <laughs> well, Steven, just so you know, whenever you get to five regions, you have three already. Mm -hmm. For every five at the beginning of your turn, you're, you're drawing card. additional cards. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so then my next play then... So they have no requirements I can go at your plant, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I can play Botanist. Mm -hmm. And it says, standing action. While the Botanist is in play, the ecosystem is protected from one invas invasive plant uh, species. Mm -hmm. Discard after use. Special action. Locate and play one plant from the deck or discard pile. So I can do that now, right? Yes, you can. All right, so one plant. Okay, so one plant. Yep, one plant. Just any plant. Any plant you want. 
So you have, I have two, two running, running water and a grassland. You, you want to make sure your plant probably meets those requirements so you can keep playing cards. Okay. You don't want to put it in your hand and just right, right. sit on it. But yeah. Well, you can. You have to play it. Oh, yep. is, is it play on that one? Yeah. Locate okay. and play. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Okay. All right, then I'll go ahead and play that thing. And that's discard, right? Yep. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Well, there are cards to get them back. Or okay. A lot of the cards in the game will say go through your deck or discard pile to find something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's one coming. Sure. Okay. So then I got that. And then I can go ahead and play Grandma Strong. Yep, that's yeah, a good one. This. Grandma's um, doing work today. <laughs> standing action while Grandma Strong is in play. Draw an extra card at the beginning of your turn. Very cool. All right. Um, I think. Oh, I'll play that one too. I think. Yes, I'll play that too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play White Birch. Uh, requirements is one forest or grassland yep. or sub zero region. Right. This one has a note like we talked about before. Yeah, well, White Birch can be played directly from the deck or discard pile if your ecosystem is affected by forest fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that is it. Yeah, so I discard something. Okay. Um, go ahead and discard that. Okay, beginning of round two. Yep, so since I started the game, it goes back in round two. Okay. Um, we just do another eight. Yeah, let's just do okay. it. Yep. So eight rounds. Yep. So I must points and wins. So I right. only have three regions. I don't draw any extra cards. I draw one card. Okay. One thing you might not know is you have sometime in the next eight rounds, I'll throughout the game, you have a three card burst. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you feel at the point you're you're low on cards, or there's a card you're trying to keep, or there's some reason you want to anyway, you have the option at some point to pull three cards. You'd be drawing three cards. Okay, you can do that once per game? You can do it mm -hmm. once per game. So okay. that's part of the decision making process too. All right. All right, we're gonna use Woodsman's second ability. Locate and play two species cards from the deck or discard pile that require a forest region. Okay. And just to clarify, when it says when a species is requiring a forest region per se, mm -hmm. it either says it directly on the card mm -hmm. or it says any. As long as it doesn't exclude forest, it counts. Okay. So like a common house fly can live anywhere. Mm -hmm. anywhere. Most of the time when they say exclude, they exclude like arid or some like harsher regions for animals to live in. Okay. Or plants that are very specific things. All right. I don't think it says anything except sub zero salt or air. It's just because the type of plant it is. <laughs> so I'm short on invertebrates, so I get this guy here. I can get a. He has one forest region and one plant. And because of that, he's a small land invertebrate. I can also go get this guy. He requires one forest. One plant and one tiny or small invertebrate. Oh, wow. Okay. So you see how that one woodsman got me, you know, mm -hmm. 14 points? Yeah, that's awesome. I just stack them like this. All my plants and one, all my animals and one invertebrate. I'm going to keep it easy and simple. That makes sense. I think I'll copy it. That's fine. Um, and because of the nature of it, I have no cards in hand. I'm going to burst on turn two again and see what happens. Play this black lotus. Play the screeching owl. Lotus, not lotus. Lotus. <laughs> Sorry, wrong game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any three additional. Okay. Um, we we're end my turn by discarding this protected micro. Okay. All right. So I start by drawing. Draw a card. Draw a card for Grandma Strong. Draw a card. Alright, so then play Sub-Zero region. Uh, so that gives me four total, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of still burst right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can still burst if you need to. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead three, three card, right? Yep. I had absolutely no ability to do anything. This forest. 
All right, you've hit your five mark now. So mm -hmm. next turn, you'll be drawing three. So you're drawing three cards a turn, which... Wow. That's how Dan started to pull away from me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he got a... Um, What'd you get, Dan? Rocky Mountains. Uh -huh. Gold. Okay. So then, I have this. this is the only requirements is any five regions, so it's uh, thermal vents. Nice. Perfect. Alright. And um, that's... I that's all I can do right now. So, uh, I'll jump in there real quick. So mm -hmm. thermal vents is worth ten points, which is great in itself, but that's actually a condition card and they're rare. So, okay. So all of your high point cards, like multiplayer, like, multi, here. double digit and above. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of its conditions is or requirements is the caves and caverns. Mm -hmm. That's my condition card in this deck. Okay. So my my deck has a specific built around caves and caverns, is kind of my theme. Okay. Where you have thermal vents for yours. No, right. deck okay. can have more than one condition and stuff. You might have but, a mountain range in yours too. I yeah, think. but there's something in multiple things or one really big thing that cares about thermal vents. Okay. I can get stuff out of my graveyard or something. Right? Eventually, um, there are a lot of humans and multiple cards. Right. Yeah. The reason I'm asking is I'm going to discard that because there's nothing I can do with that right now. Right. So, that happens a lot. So, um, my turn, I only have three regions, so I'm drawing for this. We're going to play this geologist. So, why is in play? Any one region or special region is protected from an undesired multiplayer card. Sure, the standing water. Um, special action. Locate and play one region or special region from my deck or discard pile. Discard Geologist. If he uses, I'm going to use his ability. Okay. What we're looking for is a special region. Oh, Lamp Cave. Probably. Um, I'll take anything with Grasslands attached to it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, for this other card in my hand, it requires that. Oh, you're right, Mammoth Cave. <laughs> Mammoth Cave after so, all. It's a big old minus 16. Um, wow. But it gives me five forest regions. Oh, there you go. What uh, else does it do? Uh, three running waters and the caves and caverns. I want it for all the multitude of regions because now I can draw three cards next turn. I want to discard this card in my hand because I didn't get the card I originally went for, but it's fine. So, uh, just, so just how your thermal vents is a condition card on its own, mm -hmm. his special region has a condition card built into it. That's yes. why it's That's why it's minus 16. Oh, wow. Okay. So how you get plus 10, I get I get 8 regions and my condition mm -hmm. but you for minus, minus 16, 16 yeah. which is not horrible. And I'm going to end my turn by discarding this Merlin that I didn't get a Grasslands for. Oh, all right then. <laughs> so I took the minus 16 over the plus 10. That's fair. So one, two, three. Another sub zero. I can go ahead and play this white Mariposa Lily. Just one forest of grassland, I have them both. Nine, ten, eleven regions. So I'm gonna draw for turn. Draw for two for having two instances of five. Mm -hmm. What round are you on? Uh, it should be at the top of the three. Thank you. So we're gonna play this Eastern Redbud. Just requires any uh, any one region except for saltwater regions, which I have plenty. And then we are gonna play. This name I can't know how to say. Kohash. Kohash, yeah. Yeah, Kohash. So when the black Kohash is played, you can locate and play one fly, nat, or beetle directly with my deck or discard pile. So, Stephen, the way the game is designed, the cards are designed similar to what you'd see in nature. So the black Kohash actually gives off um, a smell that attracts 
flies and beetles. Oh, okay. All right. So by by default, then it's trying to find something to help pollinate itself, and that's why in the game it allows Devin to go find a type of pollinator that would work for it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, that's also why, like we were talking about earlier, I don't know if you were listening, um, where like say you can build this around one specific like there's whole decks where you can take like a birch tree and you can build off just the tree so um but if i play a card through, say relocate your birch and put it in my ecosystem everything that relies on it then falls apart so okay. it's a you can build together for a more delicate ecosystem at higher point values mm -hmm. but it's more susceptible to damage or loss or other things okay but i'm just gonna get this little old hoverfly <laughs> Now you have two invertebrates out. Right. Yep. Uh, I'm sure you picked this up already, but the um, types of cards are labeled with color as well around the border. Mm -hmm. Plants are green, mm -hmm. humans are like a soft orange, the animals are orange. Okay. So, I'm going to play Protected Invertebrate. This, this one right here, this mm -hmm. hoverfly, is now immune to poaching, extinction, pollution, and mass extinction. Cool. I just didn't want to discard it. Go. That's okay. Sure. <laughs> but sometimes you play cards like that to protect this key piece. <laughs> Extinction's a very terrifying thing in this it game. Is. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's see. We'll start with another forest. Did we get that? Um, Seven. I'm just counting. Okay, then I got. Ooh. Okay. Nope. Do that one. Can I do this one? Um, so, my question I have a question. Yeah. Uh, if it says like requirements three forest, grassland, arid, or sub zero, is going to be any combination yes. of those? Yes. Okay, so like I. Um, if they are separate. Like requirements, they'll be marked separately. Okay. If it says and or. Oh, no. So I'm going to pull one of these real quick that okay. needs more than one. Let me see one oh, here. Like right here. All right. So you okay if I reveal Absolutely. what it is? Yeah. So in this card, it's a Rocky Mountain mule deer, and it, each requirement is started with a, I don't know if I'm out of focus here, a double colon first. The four dots indicates that each of those, it's a new item that has to be met before this card can be played. So that's what Stephen had just asked. Yep. Um, okay. So let's... Hmm. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and go ahead. All right, so one for turn, two for regions. Oh boy. <laughs> and you're on four. Four. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I want to Oh, wait, that does give me game account. We're fine. Uh, we have this microbe. Um, cave algae. Um, it's worth 12 points. I need any one region, but I also need cave and cavern, which my mammoth cave here gave me. Mm -hmm. Um, I also have... This invertebrate here, um, cave adapted millipede. Okay. So it needs one region, one microbe, plant, or fungi, which I played the microbe just now, and caves and caverns, which is also for Mammoth Cave. And then we're going to play this conservation biologist. Why uh, The biologist is in play. One 20 point plus species card is protected from pollution in acidic waters. Um. I don't have one in play currently, but that's fine. Locate and play 120 plus species cards that requires a condition card. Discard conservation biologist. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to build up a little more before I try to use his and uh, meet all the conditions. I'm going to draw my three. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then this is going to go. Let's 
tough without that condition. The mountain range is your weak point, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. See how powerful that is to have one of those. Well, out it's like that Cajun Cavern on docked. Yeah. Twenty five points for me. Right. I only net nine, but oh boy. Draw one for turn, and two for my regions. Oh, cool. Uh, so start by playing Grandma Strom and draw an additional card. You get four every turn now. Yes. Uh, play this wild turkey. I need two of any forest or grassland region, which I have. And then I need to have three plants. Four. Okay. Good. All right. Turn five, by the way. Hmm? Oh, yeah, thank you. Yep. We'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Play this card. So we have our Indiana Bat. Mm -hmm. So it needs three forests or grasslands, which I have in these. One running or shading water. Mm -hmm. um, one tiny or small invertebrate, which is over here. Uh, a canid plant from Magnifida, which is up here. Uh, and then caves and caverns, which is right here. All right. Um, that is it. No, you can't just go because you don't have a I'm out of cards. Yep. But the Indiana bat um, is worth higher point value because it is an endangered species. Mm -hmm. um, and it has such a long list of requirements to be in the ecosystem. Okay. All right. Oh, did you look at that? Still didn't get another range. <laughs> did you get another sub zero? And a grassland. So that is six. Three, six. Nine. Nine. Yep. So you're one short of drawing an extra card. Right? Yep. Can I do anything with this? There, it'll give you another round. Uh, um, the card you have right now. Right. Right. Yeah, what is it? Uh, North American River Otter. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a beaver. <laughs> the beaver card will let you... Um, it gives you an additional standing water region by oh, well. playing it. Okay. So that would have hit your 10 to give you an extra card. That would be nice. Um, okay, so yeah, I still don't have anything I can do. So, I'll just go ahead and go with. Yes, let's do that one. But what's the requirements of the problem? Uh, it's the short requirements. Um, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I did have that one. Three grasslands. Do I have three grasslands? I have one. No, I only have two. Okay. So I am short on that one. Do you have something else that you'd rather discard, though? Yeah, you're right. That's since you're point. so close to meeting the requirements? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right on that. Um, okay, that's, that's why we're here. Let's do... So a tip for you, since you're yeah. you know, uh, relatively new to this. Mm -hmm. um, many times, the new players try to hold on to the highest point cards. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it bottlenecks your hand. Right, I'm seeing And you want to drop some of the higher point cards and keep the smaller point enough cards because you'll be able to flesh out your ecosystem faster. Right, well, that, yeah, I'm the, absolutely seeing that And the pre-cons are, they're still designed that you're going to be able to find those later. Mm -hmm. Like, I have this biologist, so if I would have discarded this bat, I was able to still get it back. It just takes time in drawing cards. Right, right. All right, go ahead. Okay, yeah, right. so Six. I'm going to draw one for term, two for my regions, and one for Grandma Strom. <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot of words. Um, <laughs> word salad. Where? Huh? Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm gonna play this rainbow trout. I need three running water. I get from my cave. Uh, microbe or tiny invertebrate. I have the microbes and the other one. And then, ta ooh. I'm glad I read that the rest of the way. What does it say? Uh, tiny or small aquatic animal. I don't. I have owls so, and quails and doves. So you have any animals that says any region? Mm -hmm. Any one birds. region. Owl. Yeah, no. No, no yeah, they're all birds. Yeah, they're yeah. No, but soon as I read they're all birds. <laughs> Bummer. It's okay, so let's do this. Um, let's play Burst of Life. We each draw cards equal to the number of speciali species currently in play. But you can't draw more than eight cards. Even if you have more than eight species, you're just capped off because we don't want them to go. Okay. 
Um, so you can go ahead and look at your species. It's the very last one on, on, on the chart and see how many you have. So count your humans, count everything. So like. So every card that has a different species name. In other oh, words, different. Okay. Yeah. So. Because obviously humans are all the same. Right. I, I have my eight. So. I have one, two, three, four. Yeah. So you draw four cards. Yeah. Just free four. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just to clarify, Devin played a multiplayer card called Burst of Life, which gives all players the ability to draw cards up to the number of species they have, but a max count of eight. <coughs> so. And then it's still Devin's turn because it's not technically a discard. Yep. Um, I'm going to play two Running Water. That's Doyle Valley, which cover it's a special region that has zero downside and just gives me two Forest region. Very cool. Let's play Grandma Moore. Grandma Moore says that I don't have to discard at the end of my turn anymore. That's very nice of her. Yeah, she's a sweet lady. <laughs> um, so wait, pause a second. So Devin has three human cards out. And with competitive play, three is the max okay. that you can have out at any one time. You can have more than that in your deck, but you can only have three out at one time. Mm -hmm. okay. So he's kind of bottlenecked himself in because two of his cards don't have a special action. To make them so, go away. So right. I have to, if I want to play another human, I have to get rid of my own conservation by don't right. right. By putting them in the discard pile and, well, I get two, but I almost certain amount of 20 drops. Right. Because so the other the, one's in my hand. So the Grandma Strom and the Grandma Moore have the standing actions, but they have no way of, for, there's no way for him to get them off the table if he needed to bring something else out. Right. Okay. So, okay. Kentucky Coffee Tree. Ooh. Just needs forest or grasslands. Must be coffee. <laughs> American Chestnut um, also just needs a forest region. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's this northern leopard frog. Um, it's a small aquatic carnivore Yay. that just there needs a running or standing water and then one additional region and then it's one tiny or small invertebrate, which is over there. I can play another rainbow trout. There you go. This is cave cricket. It's worth 13 points. I need one forest region, one card, or one species in play or on the graveyard, or discard pile, and then uh, caves and caverns, which I have over here in my mm cave. -hmm. Um, and almost identical to that, we have the cave adapted harvestman spider. Oh, well. And then we also have. So, this American black bear. Oof. Oof. That's a 21 point, right? 20. 20 point. 20 flag. And you're um, out of cards, man. I'm good. Back to you. All right. So, so are we still in the sixth round? Uh, yeah, yeah that was top of the sixth. Okay, good. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. 12, 13, 14, 15. I draw three extra cards. All right. So that works. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this special region, Yellowstone Lake. It gives. It says uh, Yellowstone Lake provides three standing water, one running water uh, when it's in play when it's played you may play a tiny aquatic animal directly from your deck or discard pile so I can do that and I don't have to discard that right correct, correct. so I can just pick one out yep, yep. all right tiny aquatic yep it will say the aquatic that needs some kind of water yeah it, it, will, it will say it right up here in the top line here I like, see a small oh, okay. aquatic yeah. carnivore yeah what do I got here and now, just because, like, Steve is off to a slow heart, games don't always end like that. I've played games where my board looks like Steve's, and something will happen. I'll find one card, and it unlocks my whole hand, and you just play everything, and yeah. well, I think you come out on top. Yeah, and I think he's waiting. If he had a mountain range, he'd be able to draw one. <laughs> like I said, there's a good yeah. chance he could draw one and just play every card in his hand, or play something, get back out of this card, and hit a bunch of 10, 20, 15 pointers, and start catching up. Right. So I played the Long Nose Sucker. Uh, requirements is running water region and any one species in play or within the discard pile. So play that. So then I'm gonna go ahead and play. Where's the other one? Go right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Lake Master. Uh, standing action while Lake Master is in play, your ecosystem is protected from pollution. Uh, special action: locate and play two species cards from your deck or discard pile that require standing water. Discard Lake Master if it's used in this way. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to him for a minute, I think. Well, remember, we only have two more rounds left, so if you're gonna... Well, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
It's just uh, worth keeping in mind. Yep. Yeah. Another t another tip, since you're relatively new, is mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times the human cards will can can sit on the the um, gameplay to protect you until that last round. Okay. But remember, they're worth zero, so you want to cash them in when that time comes before it's the end of the game. Okay. So what can I do with him again? So he's good for another round or two. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, two species cards. Okay. That well, require, so, since you went second, yeah. you'll get the last turn. You can always cash in on that last turn, too, I guess. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, in that case, I'm going to play the uh, Entomologist as well. Mm -hmm. Standing action while Entomologist is in play, the ecosystem is protected from one invasive invertebrate. Discard after use. Uh, locate and a special action is locate and play one invertebrate from the deck or discard pile. Discard after use. This is locate and play. So when it says locate and play like that, means I can uh, ignore the requirements on it, or no, you still have, I still have to find it. Okay, that's right. I mean, you, you can it. if you want, but then it would die and go to the it, right. Okay. It, yeah, it would just go straight to your discard pile. All right. So think of it like as taking something from one ecosystem to another, and it just doesn't have the means to survive. The tools, right. And food. Right. Another concept of the game was that the deck would be where species are coming from. Mm -hmm. Your hand is whether they're where they are right now in your certain regions. Okay. And the discard pile is where they're headed if they can't find a place to live. So, okay. There is also cards that link our ecosystem, so you can play off my cards and I can play off yours, and that's when the game started getting... Crazy. Not weird, but it, it, it's it, it's chaotic, because like, you have all these requirements and all these resources now at your disposal. Mm -hmm. Especially in like a four-person game, someone plays, I believe it's Web of Life. Um, you just have so many resources to manage and check on. Or if someone else loses something, you might lose something. You just gotta be careful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Pearl Dace. Mm -hmm. uh, requirements one running water region and any one species in play or within the discard pile. Mm -hmm. So, play that. Um, there's that mountain range again. <laughs> okay, so there's that. On that side, is, there's no max hand size so when you have this large uh, draw like we did with Burst of Life, mm -hmm. you only have to get rid of one card still. True. There's no, and that could just be the worst card in your hand or the most unplayable card in your hand. Mm -hmm. Did you get there? I started again. Said, oh, canopy plant from the division. Where's the division on this mm -hmm. I believe it is the fourth one down. Division. Okay. Oh. Magnolia Fighter. That's one of the most common ones you have. Yeah. Oh, that's, no, this one is the spring kite bowl. What's it called? Uh, coniferous? Yeah, uh, no, it's ground fungi. Um, let me see here. Sorry, I'm taking so long. I'm trying to just... You're fine. you got to read it. That's all part, that's part of the game is, if you don't know it, you're learning it. Exactly, yeah. And when the girls made it, the whole point was for you to learn by accident. Okay. Because you're going to figure out the association so you win, and mm -hmm. then by accident you're learning what the bald eagle needs or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Round seven. Round One, two, seven. three, four. Another eight makes 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to draw three cards from my regions. Oh, wow. And one from Grandma's Strong. So I'm going to draw four cards. In, oh, five. five. Five cards double. Five. So we have Sloan's Pond. It's a one forest standard region, so I have 17 regions now. Another forest. Uh, let's make it 18 regions. We have another uh, small land invertebrate. Um, just needs any region but salt water and that one other tiny or small invertebrate. It's the long jawed orb weaver. Spiders. We have our mosquito fish. It needs one running or standing water region, one microbe or tiny invertebrate. That's it. Um, it is immune to acidic waters or pollution. <laughs> Then we have another bat here. We have the long-eared bat. Um, three forests or grassland regions, one running or standing water region, one tiny or small invertebrate, and caves and caverns. It's worth 19 points, but it's also it's a threatened species. It's not quite endangered, but it's not it ain't doing great. so good either. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to cash in this biologist now. I'm going to see if there's any 20-point cards left in the deck that we're going to talk about. I think so, yep, yeah. okay. And then I have nothing to discard, Steve, and you, your turn. Alrighty, I'm gonna, I have 13, so I still draw two. Grandma's one, three, and then one for turns. One, two, three, come on, mountain range, four. Let's see. 
<laughs> the irony. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll go ahead and play Old Faithful. Mm. Yeah, I know it's, it's it's negative eleven points, isn't it? Yeah. I was just looking Do you at that really right. need to play it? No. No, you don't. You don't need the that. regions. Right. You want to read it though? Yeah. Oh, Old Faithful. Um, it provides one running water region, one grassland region, and a thermal vent, and it's minus 11. Well, wait a minute. You're, um, you were short of grassland for that. Pronghorn oh, needs a grassland yet, right? And it's worth seven. That, that's like so then, half the points almost. They're right. a little over. So you yep, need. Yep, you're out. So then look at, if you would, look at the rest of your hand and see if you can pull out the if rest of the If you can recruit 11. that minus 13. Okay. Because you'll have at least that many regions in addition for your next draw. If you can balance it to zero at least, yeah. or somewhere close. This man became sweet. Yeah. I've never played this game before. Well, you got, you, you played your cards well because you pulled the uh, mammoth cave to get the cave. Mm -hmm. Because you have several cards in the teens chips just because of the caves. All the all the bats, um, and the algae. Those are the big A couple ones. invertebrates there. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not sure I can. I can get close to recouping that that minus eleven. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I mean, I'm learning. Okay. So I'll do that. So then, with that, I can go ahead and play this pronghorn. Uh, it requires three grasslands or arid regions, two plants. Um, and then what's the other one? I can go ahead and play this uh, yellow pond lily. It requires one running or standing water region. play another white birch. Did you have one already? I had one on there already uh, hmm. a while ago. Was that a deck off the shelf? Uh, yeah, I didn't put anything else in there. It should be. All right. I'll have to look at that and see what's happening. Oh, is there only supposed to be one? Yeah, yeah, there's only, yeah, one card represents the entire species. Keep playing though. Okay. Don't worry right. about it for today. Okay. That's not your, that's, a, that's an issue on my end to go look for that. See if it's a real issue or if it's just where somebody mixed them up. Okay, so I'll go ahead and play this river birch. Air requirements are any one region except arid regions or salt water regions. I don't believe I have any arid or salt water. Doesn't matter. You have it matter. As long okay. as you have one other. Okay. So that's another plant. Because it would be like it's planted in that ecosystem that's just not those. Okay. Or that part of the ecosystem is just not those two. All right. Um, almost have enough for that. I need two more land animals. <laughs> and then the rest are on mountain ranges. Humans count as a land animal. Do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Large land. Okay, so Save maybe. two. So do I have five forest, grassland, arid, or sub-zeros? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need three animals though, right? I need three land animals, yeah. Yeah. So you still one shy, right? I have these three humans and no. I have that. Yeah, but humans are one. There's, there's one. Oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I have a short, short one then. That's certain worth keep noting those though as you draw. Because you still have one more turn. You're drawing at least four cards. Mm -hmm. Alright, so then. Save any multiplayer cards by draw. Do I have anything else I can do then? I need an invertebrate for that. I don't have one. Those mountain ranges. Let's go ahead and drop, drop that. Go ahead. So, last round. Last round. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifteen, eighteen regions. So I'm gonna draw three from that. One for turn. One for turn. One for five. Run water. Play this bear oak that just requires a forest or a grasslands. This common house fly. So. That just requires any region and a species in the play or discard pile. We have our spiny soft shell turtle, which is just one running or standing water and one tiny invertebrate or tiny animal. And then we have a third human. So two sisters in a while. Standing action. Uh, when it's in play, your ecosystem is protected from extinction. Um, 
I'm a gambler. I'm gonna hope you don't have extinction. And in special action, I can discard it and draw three cards. No, wait. Read that second part. If two sisters in the wild is discarded, all players draw three cards. Yeah, all players. Oh, all players, I'm sorry. Yep. All players. So draw and draw three cards, so Steve. No. Well, all right then. No, so that's still not his discard phase. Right. So it's still Devin's turn. Okay. Standing water in a forest. And this oak leaf. Oak leaf. Yeah, hydrangea. Hydrangea. Is that right? Sure. Sounds good to me. I was going to butcher. Yep. And just to clarify, <laughs> Extinction is a multi red multiplayer card mm -hmm. that you can play against another species and it removes a species from the game, everybody's. Okay. Yes. So if you don't have the two sisters out, for instance, and you played it on humans, mm -hmm. everybody's humans are gone. Okay. That kind of thing. That's right. how it's used. Okay. My job. All right. So I have three... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Mm -hmm. so, so I draw three from that, three, one nine. for turn, and one for grandma. So five, five total. One, I'm two. Laugh if he gets a mountain range in this. Three, <laughs> <It's> four, <laughs> so, so good. five. Well, what happens if you draw your whole deck? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So if you draw it before the final turn, you just, you're there, and people can mess with you if they have the cards. That's right. right. So your goal is to build a deck that's not going to run out before you get to the eighth round's finish. Right. Like we played a game with Dan, and I think he decked himself on turn five. And for the next three turns, I just spent the game messing with him and taking his stuff and <laughs> not letting him try to like try to deny him his resources to win the game. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Running Water first. I'll do another Forest. I'll do another Running Water. Um, Man, I'm glad you don't have another turn. You draw more cards than me. He's doing good. All right, He's doing well, real good. Now it's going to be a headache. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the headache? Yep. Oh, is it my range? Nope. First of life. <laughs> so in theory, Devin can draw eight cards, but he can't I can't play them because I don't have another right. turn. <laughs> so if you draw eight cards, I'm sure you have eight species by now. Okay. Oh, I'm old. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, you got eight. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. Feel better? I do, actually. <laughs> and when I find Sorry, it. Sorry, Devin. <laughs> well, not necessarily, because it's going to come at a price here. Oh, oh he, he drew the negative with, with it. Yeah. Amphitheater Mountain. It gives me the mountain range, but it's minus 13. What else does it give you there? It gives me an arid region, a grassland region, a forest region, and a sub-zero region. Okay, so you're good on regions for a while, and you have your thermal lens. Yep. So, start figuring this out, shall we? It's like one of those cartoons where all the cards fold out onto the table. <laughs> <laughs> what is this card? So that, um, here, I'll just use yeah. it. Um, so this is Relocate Species, and oh, no. it's, a, it's a multiplayer card. Right. And in your situation, um, you relocate one species from one ecosystem to another is the point of it. Okay. And, but in your situation, you can either relocate something that can live from his to yours, mm -hmm. or if you're really spiteful, you can pick something that wouldn't live just to get rid of the points. Like, for example, <laughs> you right. don't have caves and caverns. If you right. take my 27-point bat, that bat is going to the discard pile. But then he's out 27. You just didn't get anything from it. But right. if you take his bear... He loses 20 points, you gain 20 points. Yeah, because okay. you should... Five forest or grassland regions, or arid, or sub-zero regions, you have all that. Mm -hmm. Running or standing water, three plants, two invertebrates, two animals. Um, I don't have any invertebrates yet. Wait so. till you're... Yeah, wait till... Yeah, let me play ahead. everything first. Yeah, let me go ahead and, and play And then he steals the bear. Yep. All right. I mean, it could be. We'll, all right, I got a lot to... I have faith that he's going to steal the bear. <laughs> 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 Relocate the all bear. Right. So, we're going to do... Oh, look at that, an invertebrate. <laughs> Any one region and one plant, we're going to do the common fruit fly. Um, we'll do the downy Indian paintbrush. Uh, canopy plant from... Okay, so what do we got? Canopy plant from the Common division plant. of conifera. Yep, so a cone bearing tree. Yes, cone bearing tree. Do you have a... I'm looking right now. Oh, those are all magnified so far. Uh, yeah, these are all magnified. 
Right, no, well. you do not have one. Okay, well, I'm not done yet. Yeah. You got lots of cards. Don't wait, there's more. Yeah, right? Wish there wasn't. Just use messing up my easy win. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, guess no, what? No, that's fine. Lodgepole Pine. So that took care of that. Okay, so there, there, there's your... There's the chickadee then. I'll go ahead and a small flying omnivore, which would be a known other thing here. Okay, so then forest grass, one of the thermal vents. Okay, that's going to be the yellow thermal spike rush. Um, and that that's 13 points because it needs your your condition card, your thermal vents. My thermal vents, yeah. Okay, so... Common garden snail. Is that bird bird? Huh? I have one of those. Five fours. Okay, I have that. Three running, standing, or saltwater regions, and three land animals. So that's one, two. Is that a land? Is there a land animal? It's flying. It's a, uh, nope. So I can't play that yet. Land and bird bird. That's an bird bird, though, not an animal. Oh, you're silly me. You're right. Killing this guy. I said it out loud, dude, and then process my head. <laughs> it's all right. It's not like it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Mm, okay, well. Steve, I'm not says, play that Steve one. says he's only played one game. Look at this. <laughs> Sorry, Devin, you lose again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He didn't take the bear yet. Not yet. We're working on it. All right, so I'll go ahead and play the, the, the Sick Creopa Moth. I'm guessing. You're a braver man than I. I wouldn't have even brought the other. Cecropia. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Cool, you got a moth. Uh, one, two, tiny, one microbe, or tiny invertebrate. Do I have a tiny invertebrate? I do have a tiny invertebrate. That's a, no, that's not a, that's a herbivore. It's not an actual well, invertebrate. It's an invertebrate. Border. Like yellow, yellow border. Oh, inver- okay. It's just, they weren't going to fit it up there with flying and right, the other important details. Okay, so then lake trout. There. Nice. Um, back over here, we're going to do Quaking Aspen, uh, Purple Monkey Flower. Jeez. Look at, I guess I was making a joke, but I think this is, he's really going to just bomb he, it all yeah, the I think he, out. I think he is just like, yeah. or something. Yep. What is it? At the end, we'll have to get the smirky grin on his face there on <laughs> camera. <so> that, <laughs> Yeah, I'll let him <laughs> smile it over there. <laughs> okay, um, so then North American River Otter. We'll put him over here with the aquatics. He's an animal, though. He but he's not a land animal. Yeah, he's an animal. Forest region and mountain range, Oregon grape. Grassland region and mountain range. So Douglas, that thingy. Helandella. I, yeah. I don't. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got a dog. <laughs> All right. So then I'm gonna go ahead and crack this one. Locate and play one invertebrate from the deck or discard pile. Let's check the discard pile first. What do we got for invertebrates here? Anything? Any yellow border? Yep. We have one right here. Any region except saltwater regions. One plant from the family, the birch family. I'm assuming that would be this. Correct. Okay. So I'll go ahead and play. Yep. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and crack the Lake Master, and I can locate and play two species cards from your deck or discard pile that require standing water. So, so just to clarify again, anything that says any one region, mm-hmm. as long as it doesn't exclude standing water, okay. that still counts, or okay. it's, it's going to say standing water on it typically. Okay. Play the Yellowstone Cutthroat Trout, man, and the Boreal Chorus Frog. Um, it's an animal, an aquatic animal. Yeah. Okay, so I cracked those. Um, then I'll play the Woodsman. When you play them, you get something. Yep. Mm-hmm. I might crack them and get locate two species cards Hold from on. your deck. No, no. What do you get when you first play? Oh, I'm s- okay. Standing action. When Woodsman is played, locate and play one species that requires a forest region. So he's unique because when you bring him out, he lets you bring something out. Yeah. Okay. 
So forest he, region. He effectively gets you three different <sighs> cards. Yes. Region. He's that the one I had the explosive one. start with. Hey, I found the mountain range. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve, because you need it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing pretty good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play. Let's see, do I have the three running or standing water? I, I do. Two tiny, small, or medium. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play the North American Osprey. So there, and now I'm going to go ahead and crack them. Locate and play two species cards from your deck or discard pile that require a forest region. And discard him. So. You mean there's more? But wait, there's more. <laughs> So we had a question come up one point that needs that we'll just clarify now. Humans or the things that have no requirements don't count for that. Okay. So I had a question come in one time where they had said, "Can we just use humans every time we do that?" And the answer is no, no. because they don't have any requirements. Yeah. Right. For that. Okay. Yep. There's no re regions at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play this grizzly bear. You're going to play your own grizzly bear and you're going to take mine? Who said I'm going to take yours? I have a strong feeling. Um, all right, and that counts as a land. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and play this gray wolf then. And then I'll go ahead and play, or cast this uh, relocate species. I'm going to go ahead and grab, where's your bat? I'm going to take your bat. Actually, no, no you know what? I am going to go ahead and take because I don't know if you'll have enough. There you go. And I'll relocate him here. And he does survive, correct? correct? Yes, he should. <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. That's how he up points now. Get count. <laughs> Dear Lord. If you want to so, win, you got to count for it. So what happens is that bear is yours. The relocation um, card usually stays underneath it to remind you. Oh, yeah. Think of it, set, just like, see how I have this right here? Remind okay. me? Right, right. Just okay. like that. All right. And that should remind you, after you're done tallying points, those points are yours. Mm -hmm. But once you're done, then that card goes back to your opponent. Okay. So we'll start. Okay, let's put those aside for right now. So many cards left, and he's already almost looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. That's yeah, fine. You've earned it. Beginner's luck, right? I yeah, guess. Yeah. Definitely. Well, just to put it in perspective, when we first started playing this. Most of the games were between 20 and 50 points. Well, I remember we talked about that. That's when, when we discussed like limiting some of the multiplayer cards and right. other things because, you know. Right. But for schools, I mean, they still, sometimes the games are only 30 points, 50 points. But when you guys can build the, even the mindsets, just because you've already been playing Magic and the other games, just, it's yeah. just a completely different ball game. You guys are in the th hundreds and hundreds of points and things like that just because. There's that. All right, 254. Let's try that again. 254. Minus 13, 23, 26, 27. Oh, crap. 227. I'm at 171. So 171 for Devin. 227. 227. All right, so what do you think about the games? Steve? Love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Want to play a game? <laughs> Devin's like, I'm going home. No. <laughs> We're not playing again. I, I have somewhere to be. Yeah, I love it. Oh, look at the time. Yeah. Well, thanks for playing, guys. Absolutely.